day two of taking out the Suron snow bike. If you missed the first video, I'll leave it linked below. This thing rips, it's so much fun. Now that I got the full 72 volt, not the 60 volt, it's got so much more power. Today might be the last day I'm actually able to rip this thing. It's gonna be like 50 the next couple of days. One downfall is this thing's so heavy. Yeah, so for what I'm doing, I don't think I really need this thing on there. Carbide's beefier than what was on my sled. Don't ask me why I decided to do this in the truck. There we go. Fine. Oh. Alright, my torque straps are holding this thing down. Finally ready to head out. All right, we'll drop this fresh 72 volt Chai battery systems battery in this thing. We'll be good to go. If you guys are looking to upgrade your Saran, this is the battery to get right now. I'll leave my link down below in the description. You can use my code on the screen or in the description if you want to save a couple hundred bucks on batteries to get your Saran dialed in. All right, we're good to go. We'll go hit some, oh, gotta plug that in first. It's a Saran. If you know what a Saran is. Look at the Chris. Christy one or something. Christy. I've never heard of that. But yeah, this is a uh, Suron X. Normally has mountain bike tires on it, dirt bike tires, whatever you want to call yeah. it. It's kind of, it's a mountain bike basically. It seems like today's going to be our last day yeah, that I'll be able to. You had it for a minute? You've been... I just got it on a week ago. I just want to see one in person. Yeah. Everybody's like, what is that thing when they see it? But so much better without the carbide on there. Carbs a lot better now. I don't think we're getting in there. a little hard pack too. Bruise is good. Ripping. Didn't think this thing would be that much fun. Before I get any further, huge shout out, like I said, to Chai Battery Systems. Would not have been possible without them. It wouldn't have been able to push it with a stock battery or the 60 volt. Need a 72 volt for this. And now, if you get snow near you, pick up a track kit. I'll leave that link below too, thanks to the Suron shop. This isn't sponsored, but it's definitely really cool and unique. You're definitely not gonna see another Suron with a snow bike kit. <laughs> oh my God. Give it a shot. Wide open. Oh, we got it. We got it. Easy. Battery wasn't fully charged either. Like 70%, so we should be good for like half hour, 45. I've been here before on the e-bike, but I don't know which line I took to get up this thing or down it before. Probably just snake through, bomb through right here. Looks like a clear trail, kinda. We'll try that. Just dragging down. Uh oh. All right, I committed at this point. No turning back. Woo! Oh my god! I don't know if I'm making it up that. right now Ugh, I made it you mind giving me a hand real quick What's you got it you got like five minutes I'm gonna ride this thing down that stairs but I need a picture of me riding down these stairs I'll hand you my meet you up at the top of the stairs right now. You're solo you gotta make it happen I'm gonna come down straight and then right down and then down there <laughs> this is ridiculous That's not good. 
Robert. Thank you. I appreciate you. You're welcome, man. You have a good day. You too. God, this is ridiculous. I don't know what I thought was going to happen. I have no traction in the front. So, thought about doing it again, but you know what? It's not worth it. My bars are all bent up. I'm covered. Probably one of the dumbest things I've done, for sure. At least my dude got it on video. Only thing, my grip ripped and the lever didn't even bend. Just kind of ground down a little bit. Vine caught me. Uh oh. Woo! Through the rocks. Woo! Yeah. When I ate it, my guy's probably like, what did I get myself into right now? This kid just ate shit in front of me. He's probably laughing. I run it back, he's like, thought you said five minutes. Oh. Oh. All right, we're good to go. Appreciate you. No problem, you have a nice okay. day. So now that the weather is getting nicer, I'm trying to find some new trails to ride, which brings me into the sponsor of this video, which is Onyx Off-Road. Using the Onyx Off-Road app, it allows you to find new trails near you. I'm sure a lot of you have heard me talk about this before. Onyx Off-Road is the best app right now. If you're trying to find new trails near you, you have to move around on the app. Every point on the map represents new trails and there's thousands of new trails. I'm sure there's a bunch of new trails near you that you probably don't even know exist. In the app, it gives you the details on the trails, kind of how to get there. It gives you the exact pinpoint location so you can drive directly there. You can see a bunch of pictures from people that have already been there so you know what to expect before you show up. The app is actually really cool and I'd highly recommend checking it out. If you do anything off-road from dirt bikes, Jeeps, ATVs, side-by-sides, this is the app for you. And right now, I can get you guys 20% off your membership using a link in the description in my code. If you're not sold yet, you can use the free trial and I'm sure you guys are gonna love it. But don't miss out this season and check out Onyx Off-Road. Like I said, it'll be linked below in the description. And as always, thank you to Onyx Off-Road for sponsoring this video. So Got the Suron snow bike back out, like I talked about in the original video with this thing, that I pond skip it if that video got 15,000 likes. I didn't even post that video yet. It's gonna be like the last day we have a little bit of snow where I'm gonna be able to even film this video. Walk down to the pond, give you the rundown. If it's even possible, we'll see. Carnage right here from the urban. Me going downstairs, broke the lever off, scraped some stuff up. If you missed those first two videos, check those out. I'll leave a link below. But let's head down to the pond, check this out. This morning we had more snow. All the snow blew away within like two hours. So I'm not sure how this is gonna go if I end up doing it here. But the water actually is almost like level with the edge of like the dirt right here. So my thought right now is kind of, kind of start over here, come in, maybe go on my neighbor's lawn a little bit, come in full speed, skip this hole. I don't know how far this is pretty far. I don't think I'm going to make it that far. So what I think I'm going to do, go to my property. There's a good stretch of water that's probably two, three feet deep that I can do a test run before I commit to this and jeopardize literally sinking my whole Saran. I first want to test how fast this thing goes so I can get a base point on my entry speed. An app on my phone will see how fast the thing goes with the track kit. First step, let's test that and then we'll bring it down here, bring it over there and we'll see if it's even possible to skip this thing. Pop in my fresh 72 volt Chai battery. You guys are in the market to upgrade your Saran. Chai battery systems is the way to go. I'm thinking about putting this thing in a garbage bag so I don't jeopardize ruining my brand new battery. Come on. All right, there we go. Taped it up around the side too so no water can kind of seep down in there. God forbid I tip this thing over or if it goes underwater, put it in like this. Oh. Probably gonna rip going down. Oh, maybe not. Maybe we're good. Actually worked better than I thought it was going to. And we'll just wrap this up. Dash it under the top. I think we're good. Boom, we're good to go. I got the speedometer app. I don't know how accurate it is, but it'll give us a rough. Probably can get going a little faster than that. I think we got plenty of speed. I think we got plenty of speed. 
good run up before I hit it, that's for sure. But I think we're gonna make it at least 10 feet. I'm actually surprised that we got going this fast. Uh, it says 35.8 miles an hour. We'll claim 36 miles an hour. Should be enough, has to be enough. Things a pain to load. <sighs> Once again, thanks to TorqueStrap.com, holding the bike down. Things shouldn't go anywhere. If you want to pick yourself up a set of the best dirt bike straps in the game right now, I'll leave them linked below. It's torque down technology stuff that keeps it locked in place. Check them out if you're in the market for some new straps this season. All right, we're good to go. Now we got to aim for something. When I came here before, this was all ice and there was more snow. Pretty gradual, a couple inches. And then I think once I get out here, the deep part in the middle is probably two feet. So it's definitely, it's not like I'm gonna scrape on the ground at all. Brought some snow in, tried to add a little path, maybe get that extra little second here. And then all of this is just mud. I brought this piece of wood, it's really doing a lot. I skipped through this stuff before I could skip through that. So it's gonna slow us down quite a bit. 50 50 chance I have it. I don't want to get wet, but I'm about to get soaked. If you guys are new, hit the subscribe button, run up the likes. Slow down so much right there. Woo! I end up pick. Oh, this thing's kind of taking off on me. I end up gaining a good amount of speed towards the end. So once I hit the throttle, the thing wants to take off on me. I did three runs. I don't know why it's doing that. Once I give it a little throttle, it like doesn't go on gauge. It's like wanting to go. It's so weird. I'm not even, I don't know why it's doing that. So once I turn it off, then it turns off. It's always something. If I don't engage the throttle, then it's fine. But as soon as I give it a little throttle, uh, <laughs> Lots to take off on me. Let's do it. My throttle stuck wide open. We got one more, two, one or two more runs before this thing just grenades, it seems like. If you guys know why it's doing that, let me know, but it doesn't help me any right now. See, I'm not even twisting the throttle. I'm dragging the brake, this thing is just... My controller's like... Probably from the water. We love that. My throttle, uh... No, that is not gonna work. Uh, of course it's not the right size. Well, it's gonna have to work. And we're down again. This throttle is toast. Thing is not happy with me, but... shut off on me i don't know i kind of just pulled me right there this thing is not happy with me right now what else is gonna suck uh pushing this thing back i think what happened is my throttle um broke when it dropped the six times sitting there and i think that's what obviously uh why it wanted to take off on me and now doesn't work at all when i turn it back on so. i too i never mentioned this the surround itself weighs 100 pounds the track kit weighs another 100 uh, this thing's a heavy girl Ryan knows all about that. Just getting through this water. Lift the back, I'll hold the back. Dave, you guys gotta give me a like on the video for effort because I would have done the whole thing if it had the power. The the surround, yeah, you think I rigged the throttle so I didn't have to do it? I think uh, it just needs more power. Uh, probably made it. How far you think that is from there to the actually skipping? 50 feet?
Still hold her underwater. Oh, fuck! Ah. Whew. We gotta hit the gym, man. Finish off. Right. We're almost there. This sucks. Good effort, though. Solid effort, for sure. I'm so shy. Like I said, I think that was about a 50%. I get this back to the house, I gotta take a shower. I'm freezing. <laughs> That's a wrap. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna throw up. My throw up. Throw up. Uh, this thing is dirty. So I quickly want to thank Engway for sending me over their new MT20 e-bike. As you can see, they have this thing packaged really good, so you're not going to have to worry about it getting damaged and shipping. To make the process really easy, all you have to do is cut a couple zip ties. I found it easier just to cut the box open from the side versus trying to lift it out from the top. You have everything labeled in the boxes, so it makes your life really easy to get this thing fully assembled. It'll probably take you 15-20 minutes to get this thing out of the box fully assembled and out riding. So in the boxes here, you get the pedals, the charger, they give you all the tools to fully assemble it. There's not much to it. Take the bolts out of the stem, put the handlebars on. I found it easier to flip the thing over to actually put the front wheel on, slide the axle through the front wheel, tighten everything down and you're good to go. Besides that, all you gotta do is put the pedals on and then this thing's pretty much ready to ride. Put the extra battery holder on the top. That way you can get double the range and carry the second battery with you if you're going on a long ride. It also comes with this headlight. I opted not to put it on because I'm not gonna ride this thing at night. This is one of the first e-bikes that has full suspension front and rear. It has the big fat tires so you can pretty much get over any obstacle that you want. It has this really comfy seat which makes it unique to some other e-bikes on the market right now. Kind of has a motorcycle-like design which is kind of similar to the Super 73 but a way cheaper price. Making this M20 probably one of the best e-bikes right now. This thing has super good front and rear disc brakes. It'll do about 28 miles an hour, which is actually one of the faster e-bikes right now. And it has the potential to do up to 47 miles on one charge, which is crazy. It has this fancy LCD screen on the handlebars, which gives you five different riding modes. I prefer to ride in mode five the whole time, which is just the twist throttle. It's also super unique having a full kind of moto twist throttle versus the traditional like thumb throttle, which makes it way more comfortable when you're riding. So right now, Engway is doing their best promotion of the year, so you're not gonna wanna miss out. If you participate in their Lucky Spin giveaway, you have the opportunity to get up to $200 off your order. So if you're interested in an e-bike, definitely check them out and it'll be linked below in the description.